I think before Reginald started teaching, uh, Latin was in trouble. Bad things were happening. The teaching of uh, classical languages and cultures uh, had started to shift away from the national interest. I see too many people are teaching, presenting the language and the literature in the same old way. The quality uh, of teaching and, and, and teachers' knowledge of the languages was starting to uh, decrease as well. One of my students was a teacher. I said, what are you doing in senior year? They should be perfect Latinists by now. Well, we're making cardboard chariots. Sorry, I'm out. That was really uh, why he started the uh, Istiwa Romae Latinitas program was to sort of uh, help support teachers, teach them, give them better training uh, and better familiarity with the languages so that they could pass it on to their students. Those of us who were first involved with Paideia from the earliest years were all affected very deeply by our own teacher who was the inspiration for Paideia, namely Reginald Foster. And we knew how our lives were transformed already by an encounter with him and an encounter with a language through him. Going to study with Reginald in Rome was a completely uh, life-changing experience for me. The program was extremely intensive. Uh, you would study Latin uh, seven hours a day, six days a week, in a swelteringly hot kindergarten cafeteria. And it was, a, it was an amazing experience. I didn't have to put on a, a, a strip sh show or anything like that <laughs> to keep their interest. I didn't need that because Latin was interesting. Ever since I had the experience of learning Latin in this new way, and learning it according to a method that I felt comfortable and indeed excited to share with others, that I would want to be doing it for the rest of my life, and I still feel that way. Myself and the other founders of the Paide Institute um, had always talked about what would happen, um, you know, when Reginald had to stop teaching. I broke my leg, that ended in one year. By the time I got around to the next year, I was sick with other things. Then I died. Then my heart was replaced. I remember calling Eric Hewitt and Leah Whittington and saying, uh, guys, it's happened. We felt like there was going to be this massive loss and escaping hole. When it became clear that um, Reginald wouldn't be able to go on teaching in Rome, um, that was when we started thinking, you know what, you know, this could be an opportunity for us to really start something. And I encouraged Jason and everyone else. Go on, but you do it your own way. I never could have imagined that energy and that excitement could be translated into all these other things. Um, but of course now, looking back on it, it, it makes perfect sense um, because that's exactly what Reginald did to us. And that's why the Pi Day Institute exists at all. We're really reaching across the globe with our programs. Um, we have our flagship programs in Italy. Vicky potestatem, atque ille primo quidem, megavit. Living Latin in Rome High School basically condenses the Living Latin in Rome experience, um, but tailors it to high school students. It's two and a half weeks in the center of Rome, uh, and they have class time, they go out and visit the sites, they take day trips across the city and outside of the city as well. They write Latin skits and perform at the end of the course, uh, which is always really exciting because uh, our students have learned to write and speak in Latin. Monebat ipse omor, admiso sequitur, vestigia pasu. We also have a new Living Greek in Greece high school program that's starting this summer. We even have programs in France. We also have Telepidea, which is our series of very affordable online classes that attract students from Australia and Spain. By participating as a teacher in Padea's programs, I have been reinvigorated by the zeal and the energy of the students. I definitely think that Padea is succeeding. I, I find it hard to believe that it's such a young program because I think they're doing so much and they're doing it so well and it's so fun to see students just in awe at their experiences. But now we're seeing clubs sprout up here at Cornell. We have a student-led 
conversational Latin group that gets together. They're doing all kinds of amazing activities. We never saw them doing anything before. We started this program called iCora a few years ago. Um, it's an outreach program based in elementary and middle schools in New York City and in a few other cities around the country. I feel like the more schools you could have iCora in, the better it would be. It's just so much fun for the students. And I really love uh, Latin because it's kind of like the beginning of English and Spanish. So Kimberly, <laughs> I'm saying this ladder which means my name is Kimberly, I'm Kimberly, and I really love Latin because it's very interesting the way we learn different ways and the aptitude are my favorite. And it's so much fun for students who are doing classics is part of it also. The opportunity to share what you do with a more general audience and to feel like you're having an impact on the world. When you study ancient Greek, you don't often feel like you're very involved in doing good in the world. You can feel like you're part of the ivory tower. And Ikora is that moment when you can go out in the world and do something good with it. The Rome Prize is a scholarship that we give to high school students with extreme financial need uh, who are lovers of classics. And they take um, the whole tuition and they cover it and they cover the uh, cost of travel. So this one incredibly uh, talented person gets to go to Rome to do the Living Latin in Rome high school program when otherwise they would have no way to do that. So it's pretty great. If people would understand, be taught Latin the right way, they would fall in love with it. You have to. I would tell anyone who uh, cares about Latin and Greek and cares about classics and feels called to keep it alive and keep teaching it, um, to not give up and not get discouraged if uh, sometimes it feels like the world isn't interested. Stay connected to it, keep uh, spreading the word, and keep teaching. <laughs> Just about every student that comes through our program has something to do with Paideia Institute and with Latin as a living language. And it's something I never could have expected. Uh, and it really speaks to, I think, the future of Latin. The impact of Paideia far exceeds the boundaries of just the classics community or the humanities community or even the linguistic community. I think that we are seeing the repercussions of what Paideia has done in areas that maybe we never would have expected. For classics to have a bright and sustainable future, it needs to grow. And Paideia is sort of the place where that's happening. People should give to Paideia because it will directly transform students' lives. And by promoting and supporting Paideia, uh, maybe we'll discover a little bit more quickly and more deeply what it means for us to be human.